We're looking at an aircraft carrier. All right. All right. So uh, this is the Fujian aircraft carrier. It's China's new aircraft carrier, which, you know, they unveiled it uh, last year, you know, and it was like, I don't know, it's launch or whatever, but it's not finished. Did they launch an aircraft carrier? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you do yeah. your laundry boat, right? You just push it out. Yeah, it's like, yeah, <laughs> smash a you go. good bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah. they, I don't yeah. know if they do that in China, a bottle of Baijiu <laughs> or something. Dong. Dong. Yeah, so basically, um, it's their new aircraft carrier, and it's not completed. It's still in the outfitting stage. Uh, last time we showed it, it didn't have smokestacks or anything on it yet. But uh, some eagle-eyed people have been noticing online, this has been going around recently, that it appears to have cracks on the deck. Two very large cracks over there, um, which doesn't surprise me. No. Um, I mean, it was like uh, when they were bragging about it, it wasn't even finished. Remember we yeah. covered that? I mean, that's the whole point is that this is kind of China's uh, first attempt at building one of these big carriers from the ground up, right? Yeah. They started in 2015, I believe. Then it was like unveiled in 2022, as we said, like that, that launch, but it's still not done yet. And, I mean, there are definitely going to be a lot of teething problems sure. in this thing. So, I mean, I could absolutely believe that there are uh, cracks and issues. I, I wouldn't say teething problems. They made plenty fine buildings in the 80s and 90s, and they're really bad now. Yeah. Things have gotten worse, dude. It's just yeah. their quality has gotten worse. Too much corruption. Again, I think this is a, a symptom of this whole, we we say we're going to do something and we have to do it. You know, the government's like, we're going to prove to the world that we're the strongest, you know, going to build the strongest military or whatever. So we need to put something out there to impress people. And they, you know, the generals pass it down to whoever yep. who passes it down to whoever. And they're like, build this now. You know, we need, we've said that we're going to make the this high tech aircraft carrier. So do it. And they're like, okay. And they just quickly slap something together. I think people, I hopefully we never get to a situation where China actually has to flex its military might because I think a lot of people will quickly become very, very upset and embarrassed yeah. about what has transpired. I think so. I mean, we see it in every sector all the way up to the top leadership of the government. Their corruption literally rots China to the core. That's how, how China operates. Yeah, and it's it's a, just a terrible situation because at the, at the end of the day, like maybe the central planners actually have a good idea. Yeah, of course. And they course. actually do want to do something good. Yeah. But the way it all works with the top-down thing is there's just no accountability. It's no. just such a mess. It's always passed down the, the rungs just, of the ladder. You see how this stuff works. Yeah, We've exactly. lived there over a decade. Or... Yeah. Anyway, so we just wanted to point that out let's keep an eye on china's fancy cracked um aircraft carrier the fujian and see what happens to it we're going to follow on with something else that's related to ships and marine stuff and that is that china has just uh chinese scientists as they say um have done a mock war game um where they were basically testing hypersonic missile strikes on a u.s car u.s carrier group in the south china sea yes so they set up a simulation on how they could um, attack and completely destroy the U.S. carrier group if it had its biggest aircraft carrier in there and all that sort of thing. Yeah. They did very public, very publicly yeah. did this. So uh, military planners conclude the Gerald uh, R. Ford and its fleet could be destroyed with certainty in a rarely published report. Okay. Anyway, so the researchers said 24 hypersonic anti-ship missiles were used to sink the Navy's newest carrier and its group in 20 simulated battles. Uh, what do you what do you think this is all about? Like, I mean, we could sit here and read an article. Projection! We have to do that. But yeah, yeah, it is. Do we have a project? We do. Projection! He's not around anymore, sadly. Um, anyway, this is a picture of the simulation. And um, I just, you know, I don't want to read articles, but there's some quote here that I want, I really want to read from this particular article. You are a quote boy today. Yes. Quote, quote Smith. Okay, so this is from their own, from their mouth, the mouth of the people that the did PLA? this. Okay, yes. Okay, so the, the team that did this. Okay, the um, plan. Yeah, exactly. So <clears throat> the team said two hypersonic anti-ship missile models with vastly different performances were unleashed in the simulation, mm -hmm. with some launched from as far away as the Gobi Desert. Okay. The Chinese military displayed unusual prowess in their sophisticated launch wait, strategy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Yeah. You're not reading in a third-party report. No, that's You're reading them, an internal report. That's what they're saying about themselves. Yeah. What? Yeah, so the... the <laughs> Wait, it's say like, that it's, again. Yeah, okay. The Chinese military displayed unusual prowess in their sophisticated launch strategy. Said itself. Yeah, said itself. Yes. <laughs> said itself. Yeah. 
um, <laughs> etc., etc., etc. It's yeah. the most narcissistic shit I've ever heard in my I life. I know, it's ridiculous. It's like, yeah. oh, yeah, it's like you're saying, Ma- Matthew is the ha- most handsome man, <laughs> you know? Matthew won the Handsomest Man Award during the Matthew Handsome Awards <laughs> exactly. of 2023, <laughs> said himself. Yeah. You know, I think what's kind of funny is it's the Chinese government has repeatedly accused the U.S. of stoking tensions in the region, right? Yes. Um what do you think this is? Yeah, this is, is this such, stoking tensions? It's like, like oh. stroking tensions. I mean, <laughs> stroking yourself off. Here's the thing. It's okay to do a you, like a mock battle. Like, yes. okay, we're going to pretend that we're attacked by an unknown enemy force yeah. that consists of a U.S. I mean, a, a, a aircraft ha- aircraft carrier that looks like aircraft the, the, carrier. Aircraft right. carrier. Yeah, no, an aircraft carrier that looks like the Gerald Ford or whatever. Sure. And a couple of ships that might look like they're from America. It's okay to do that, but to say this is the US best aircraft carrier and its fleet <laughs> and we've destroyed it. <laughs> we tried many times, we destroyed them completely. We have no proof that any of this transpired by the way, but we're going to self-publish a report and then Yeah, we're going to say how well we did success. it. Yeah. We're just like <laughs> great prowess and sophistication. No, I don't want to you know, inhibit the military industrial complex's reaction to this because they'll probably be like, see, see, now we need to, be, you yeah, know, we exactly. need to build more to combat this. Successful- yeah, America, I, look, China's, they're doing the hypersonic missile tests. It's time for you to spend more on the U.S. military. That's Let's ramp it up. As if they needed more excuses. No, anyway. that was a good time. Let's <laughs> double down. Let's so, get a couple more fighter jets. Missiles are hot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, so no, I did want to say something about this. Though. And what do you it's, want to say? It's very, very in line, very, very in line mm-hmm. with China's tradition of blowing their load and the show and everybody. Yeah. Because they literally have constantly come out with something that doesn't exist. Show yeah. it to the world. This is our sixth generation fighter. Yeah. It's like a 3D model from a video game. Yeah. And people are like, what are you talking about? Because somebody needs someone to say something to the world. They that's how China works. Brag all they the time. They have to brag and show. And that's why I'm never too concerned about China's actual military ambitions. They militarize islands. They break international agreements all the time. But when push comes to shove, again, it's a different story. I've seen mm. the U.S. kind of be like, oh, we're so behind. We're so behind. Meanwhile, they're like 10 years ahead of everyone, right? Russia is the same. I think the ex-Soviet mm-hmm. Union stuff and Russia in, in its current form is the same thing. Mm. I learned something interesting about the uh, hypersonic missiles. Yeah. Russia, actually, U.S. US media was going on about this, too. Russia's got hypersonic missiles. We're unprepared for this kind of stuff, yeah. right? And it turns out that the hypersonic missiles were old tech, they barely have hypersonic capabilities. It's no, there's nothing new or groundbreaking about them, right? It was blessed. Yeah, they got shut down. Shut down, right? <clears throat> Apparently, China's hypersonic missiles are hypersonic capable, right? They do have that technology. But again, where's the proof of that, right? Where has that actually happened and transpired to mm. show people that that's the case? Because all I've seen is Sarai for yeah, this kind of stuff. Much, I'm not even know? joking. Yes, and beautiful. What I see, Sarah, I, I know you guys are probably tired of her, but it's such a good analogy for pretty much everything in China's modern development. Because when they needed to show people their, their most future forward Huawei AI technology, they put a Thai woman in a booth, put the her microphone. on an unreal mapped, uh, mm-hmm. a, uh, unreal mapped polygon uh, avatar mm-hmm. and gave her a microphone. And that is what I've constantly seen over and over again, whether it's their aircraft carriers or they're blustering about their next generation of weapons. And well, fighters. look at the aircraft carrier. Remember yeah. the huge amount of bluster about, oh, it's got the ele- ele- electromagnetic ramps and it's amazing and it's next level and it's better than anything the world's ever seen. And it's just sitting yes. there with cracks on it. Yes. You know? Yes. It's one of those things. Crazy English, crazy life, crazy work, crazy study. Crazy! Crazy! Crazy life! Crazy! What is happening here? <laughs> yeah, it was it, so are you cute. casting a spell? <laughs> he's basically duping the audience. He's just talking he's shit. <laughs> he's just talking absolute <laughs> shit. Let's get crazy. You know what? I lost my job today. Are you kidding me? No, I'm <laughs> serious. I think that kid gets it. See the kid looking at he the camera? He's like, he's like, this is uh, bullshit. This is some bullshit. Some anyway. bullshit right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take a breath, you fill up my lungs. 